Hi everyone, this is Rick with TaxDom. Welcome to our monthly update video. I'm really excited here to tell you everything that we've been up to in October. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. And we're gonna kick things off with an update that we're super excited to share with you. Our brand new client mobile app, which is available for iOS and for Android. The new app has been designed to transform the way your clients interact with your firm. So let me actually walk you through a couple of the key features and some of the improvements here. First up, you're going to notice the redesigned homepage, which makes it easier for your clients to see very important information very quickly. If you need them to sign a document, pay an invoice, complete a task. Well, they're gonna see it there in the waiting for action area. They can then action those items with one click. Notice the clean layout and the large buttons. Everything has been designed with your client's experience in mind. Now beyond the homepage, your clients will be able to navigate through the app by organized tabs that are always visible at the bottom of the screen. The new app also features a redesigned chat interface, one-click document uploads, and seamlessly integrated document scanner. And the apps are fully integrated with the mail apps on your client's phones. So what that means is when they open an email or push notification from your firm, for example, to sign a document, it's going to take them directly to the document in the app without having to look for it. So the app utilizes the latest technology and encryption methods to keep your client's data safe, including face ID, touch ID, and two-factor authentication. Now, before we get into other product updates, I'd like to turn your attention to our TaxDome product webinars. Starting October 1st, we're doing a daily webinar covering everything from how to get started with TaxDome to mastering client communication, document management, workflow automation, and much more. Please go to www.taxdome.com slash webinars to register. You can also check out the TaxDome Academy where you're going to find tons of free courses designed to help you master all of TaxDome's key features, tools, and processes. But now back to the product updates. We've made an important improvement to your CRM. You can now store account and contact data in a range of new custom field formats, making your CRM much more flexible than it ever has been. Now this update allows you to create format specific custom fields for dates, tax IDs, dropdowns, and more. You can now also create custom fields for people on your team. This field is called user. So you can create team specific fields such as manager, bookkeeper, tax preparer, and so on. The new custom fields format works seamlessly with existing features such as search, filters, and short codes. And because they are format specific, if you enter information in the wrong format, TaxDome will automatically tell you. This means you can now store all your client information accurately and in one place. Now, moving on, we've also made some improvements to our desktop app. You can now create a client account directly while uploading documents in the desktop app. We've also made it easier for you to resolve any upload errors. You can make updates and re-upload them instantly by clicking retry. And as a reminder, the desktop application lets you easily print documents directly to TaxDome from any application. There's a bulk upload tool to import multiple client documents, and it also lets you install the TaxDome drive. The TaxDome drive lets you access client documents directly from your Windows Explorer on the Z drive. And not only can you view them, you can also make changes to documents such as spreadsheets, for example, without having to upload them again. And this is a great feature that we strongly recommend you all use to improve your workflow. Next up, 
We made a couple of improvements to the way you manage and view documents in Taxstone. First, we've added a new Mark as Read button, which makes it much easier to see which documents you've already viewed and which still need your attention. You can apply this to documents either individually or in bulk. Once documents are marked as read, they will no longer be displayed as new. We've also changed the way documents are viewed to improve readability. Now, when you click to view a document, it fills the screen by default. If there's any additional information, for example, if it was sent for approval to the client and rejected, the reasons why will be shown. Otherwise, if there's no information to show, it's hidden. Now, previously, that white space was shown whether or not there was relevant information. Next, we've made some improvements to the QuickBooks Online integration. We've added the ability to assign classes, such as employee name, and locations, such as different offices, when creating invoices in Taxstone. If you've already set this up in QuickBooks Online, Taxstone pulls in this information automatically. Classes and locations created in QuickBooks Online now sync into Taxstone. By adding classes and locations, you can better categorize and track invoices for internal purposes and keep your own books more organized. If you're a U.S. firm, you'll also notice a new payment option for your Taxstone subscriptions. You can now pay directly from your bank account via ACH payments in addition to credit cards. To set your default payment method to bank transfer or credit card, simply go to the Team and Plans tab. You can change it there at any time. Finally, we've improved the way time entry information is displayed in Taxstone. When you click on a job in a pipeline, you can now see detailed information about the time entries connected to that job, including a description, assignees, and duration, making it much easier to manage and track the time. Well, that's it for today, folks. We will be back next month with another video update. In the meantime, you can check out our release notes for more information about the latest Tax Dome updates and enhancements, including some sneak peeks of upcoming releases. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now. Have a great rest of your day.